This equipment is called Mobile Telecommunication Trainer and was developed to let the user understand the whole concept of full duplex mobile communication. At the board level, detailed experiments are available and at the complete assembled set mode, it works just like a regular commercial product. The step-by-step -step experiments, from voice input to antenna radiation, are possible. Radio frequency interface experiment is also possible with this trainer. This is the experiment content of the trainer. Experiment 2 is about power unit. Check the voltage of the adapter. Connect the power cable to the board and turn the power on. Check the incoming voltage to the power board. Check the outgoing voltage from the voltage regulator. Check the outgoing voltage from the power board. Confirm reference voltage, incoming voltage and outgoing voltage of comparator. Check the voltage of the battery. Check the charging voltage of the battery. Check the charging current to the battery. Confirm constant changes in charging current. Check the voltage of the battery. Experiment 3 is about condenser mic and amplitude limiter circuit. Supply the power to the audio board and connect the modular jack. Then turn the power on. Input the signal to the audio board and connect the oscilloscope for the measurement. When input signal's amplitude is increased, amplitude limited output will appear. Experiment 4 is about compressor characteristics. Set the switch to mic and then measure with the oscilloscope voice input through the mic. Measure the output level of compressor while altering the input level. Experiment 5 is about pre-emphasis and de-emphasis characteristics. Measure the pre-emphasis characteristics while entering signals and altering frequency. Measure the de-emphasis characteristics while altering frequency. Levels increased at the lower frequency.
Experiment 6 is about expander characteristics. Altering input signal will cause large input to be larger output and small input to be smaller output. Experiment 7 is about bandpass filter and squelch circuit characteristics. Measure output waveform of the bandpass filter while altering frequency of the filter input signal. You can find the large output level at certain frequency. Check the operating status of squelch circuit. Experiment 8 is about phase lock loop oscillation. Check the power voltage. Measure the reference oscillation frequency. Check the transmitting PLL locking. Check the frequency locking while altering channel. Check the selected channel's frequency. Experiment 10 is about radio frequency transmitting part. Turn the power on. Select the channel and measure the relevant frequency. Press data transmitting button and check the transmitting data. Experiment 11 is about the radio frequency receiving part experiment. Using the equipment, enter modulated signal of radio frequency board. Measure the radio frequency signal being entered. Measure the local oscillation frequency. Check the low noise amplifier output. Measure the level and frequency of second intermediate frequency. Measure the demodulated audio signal and data.
Measure the state of Receive Signal Strength Indicator, RSSI. Experiment 15 is about full duplex experiment. Turn the power on both base station and the mobile station. Set to the auto mode. Call the other party by pressing the call button. On the bell ringing, press the talk button and start talking. Hello? Experiment 16 is about radio environment experiment. You need at least two sets of trainers. Check the frequency spectrum. Set different frequencies for each of the trainers. Begin normal communications between each set. Check the on and off of the transmitting power. Have frequency interference occur by moving through channels. Notice the bad communication quality due to the frequency interference. 